Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. Tracy here and this is another open with me and this is for the latest Simply Crochet and I got it wrong. I thought my <laughs> subscription had run out every time I think that. Then one arrives, but I think they're arriving in the shops before I'm getting them, which isn't very good. Anyway, while I'm getting into this, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you never know. You might get some notifications so we've got some free gifts in this one and make sure there's nothing left in there so this is the magazine um okay and we've got an edits which they sometimes put in we'll put that to one side for now and a free gift of some well some darning needles with the big loopy bits on the end now Summing up made easy. Now, they are mega easy to thread all, but for some reason, I can't get on with those. So they will be appearing as a free gift in... Bear with me just a sec. Something's about to boil over. Hopefully, I've turned it down enough. Cooking. So, um, yes, they'll be appearing as a free gift in one of my orders for my shop, which is hobbyrocks.co.uk. I often put the little freebies and... Um, things I get and other little things including some yarn um, not free yarn but some other sometimes I just pop a yarn ball of something else in and and stuff like that so there's usually goodies in there of some sort if I've got enough tolerance in the postage if it's right on the money then I have to kind of just put a little little something in anyway this is the magazine let's have a look at that first and straight away that's it says be happy so we've got peas in a pod we've got a bag 30 brand new patterns super simple beginners make which is this i think it's um a tabard because it looks as if it's not sewn at the sides we've got a throw and cushions that kind of match together uh, creative living gorgeous designs to inspire you a checked cardi luxury hat and mitts animal blankets and more We've got a giant dragon oh that's quite interesting mini motif magic so we're like making mini mini granny squares and making mini motifs and projects we've also got some quick makes We've got patterns, ideas, yarn, inspiration, and to air. Because I think they meant to put that in front of her picture, not behind it. Bit of a mistake there, I reckon. Um, so that's that. That's quite nice, isn't it? But I've got a feeling that just you might find that on the sheepies um, pa uh, page, you know, on, or what should I say, website. That's the word I'm looking for okay so we'll start with the mag and straight away we've got this little kind of purse that's pretty cool that's one of those mini motif ones and here's the what we've got in the magazine so let's move my phone out i'm gonna knock it on the floor this is um also made with mini motifs now that if you do stuff with mini motifs i'll just let you know there's an awful lot of attaching those squares together and it can be really, really monotonous. I made a big character blanket with, with lots of little squares about that size and it was a Mario and I made it for Harley. Um, and I'm going to do some more character blankets, but they're going to be different. Um, but yeah, they can be extremely monotonous to, um, to sew together. Now this looks interesting, lots of little cats. I don't know if they're squares or just you know got in a big line and then you do them as you go and we've got this one which uh looks like a rug we've got some fingerless gloves made I, they're too busy for me i don't think i could wear them um but the little bag's kind of nice the collar's not really me and that well i don't think it'd last five minutes <laughs> for me anyway um nice and slim person it might be fine we've got hat and well i want to say cowl um 73 mats and coasters it's rather specific isn't it and we've got this this is nice it looks kind of knitted doesn't it 
it looks quite nice and close up now these are better although they're still jazzy it's not loads of squares we've got the dragon and this is a nice one this looks like it's kind of i don't it's just probably the pattern but it kind of looks cabled if you know what i mean so we've got this very busy granny blanket and subscribe and get 14 balls of yarn from stylecraft so that's the new subscription offer so this is the hello bit and advert so what we got his majesty's secret stitches we can make some it's his majesty now isn't it we can make some um crowns and scepter and ball orb it's not a ball it's an orb it's a it's an orb of yarn <laughs> all right it's not and this is the only kind of cake that i'm allowed now i'm going to be starting my diet but that's actually made into a slice as well, which is a bit odd. I don't think it's in here, though. It's just you can, um, for her birthday, for her mother's birthday, Elshara Hebbard created something truly special, a yarn cake that looked like her mother's favourite sheep as well. So that's cool. Someone had sent in. That's pretty good. I thought I'd mention that one because it tickled my fancy. We've got Retro Crochet by Ashley L. Now, I often wondered when someone would bring this out because, you know, crochet when I was a child was big and, you know, you've got lots and lots of stuff that would kind of be valid now and you could easily make into sort of something now. But it's £18.81 by Rocky Nook. Alternatively, you can just Google kind of old patterns on, on eBay or somewhere kind of cheap but we've got sweet pea crochet that's 12.99 by Saul Rawlinson prepare for a new baby by hooking up more than the bundles in this book so it's obviously for newborns we've got pokemon crochet i've seen this around 14.99 by david and charles oh actually it's the printers but we've got lee sartori who made that one and Quilt As You Go for Scrap Lovers by Judy Gauthier. Gauthier? And what's this one? That's not really anything. It's just a, not a book. So we've got lots of these appearing. With the sunshine appearing in the sky and the promise of spring, we're starting to see all these, which um, some of them you can say are kind of festival wear and others are just um but it's a lot of them are squares if you noticed i've seen that a lot uh the little wool shop each issue we explore a uk yarn shop and this one's in edges of cannock chase forest in staffordshire called the little wool shop very nice but i can't exactly go and pop over and see that one but we've got skills and events, the Yorkshire Yarn Fest. Um, that's on the 4th to the 5th of March, obviously in Yorkshire. The 10th of March, crochet edging and joining at blacksheepwalls.com. It will set you back thirty four ninety five. You can look it up on YouTube for free. The 11th and 12th of March, got Buxton Wall Gathering in Derbyshire. The 6th to 19th of March, creative craft show at Birmingham's. Probably at the NEC. It's Birmingham, though. Thirtieth of March, the craft for the craft for crafters show in Exeter. Set you back a ten of that one. So, but the Buxton wool gatherings only five pounds. Five to eight. Five to eight pounds. Why would it be different? Oh well, I don't know. Um, we've got the fab finds um it's on etsy that blanket and we've got makewaycrochet.com time for texture where are they finding these things okay they're just people's patterns to be honest with you and they cost you so this is the start of their patterns and this is the little um collar uh win by a neck they say small wonders making pretty statement pieces is easier than you think just use simple little motifs like these i do think this is quite cute 
it, if I made that longer, it could be like a little phone case. That'd be quite cute. The, the belt's nice. It just wouldn't really do much for me. I think the, the gloves are a bit um, busy for me. But a lot of people have been doing this in these magazines recently where they've been edging, say, something with crochet, whether it be a towel or a blanket or a tablecloth. But putting some crochet around an edge, like bordering something. Headband's quite nice. That's fine. I don't mind little motifs on that. So these are all the patterns. And there's a few pages, obviously, because there's a few. This is called pack a punch. Obviously, it's a poncho then. I couldn't work it out. It just looked like a tabard, like goes over your neck. It's kind of a, a beginner's pattern, you would say. So keep it simple yet stylish in this easy to hook stripy poncho designed by Fran Morgan. That's that one. It's just a kind of granny pattern, but it looks like two stitches. Well, I don't know what you call that, really. It's not a V-stitch. It's not a modern V. Never mind. Anyway, peas in a pod. Amigurumi peas by Ellie's Craft Boutique and made for cuddling together forever. See how they put these little bits of pink colouring on the cheeks of things? I often see that on crocheted and knitted dollies where the yarn isn't that colour, but they put kind of like a little bit of makeup on it or bit of colouring quite cute so that's how to do the peas and the pod so you get 14 balls of yarn from Starcraft in this bundle it's the Bellissima so um, if you want to make use of that and subscribe there it is and I think this is makes this gorgeous blanket so it might make it the gorgeous blanket um, but it's not a crochet along is it I haven't seen it this is the Catherine's Journal bit, which we can't read because it's too big. String of pearls. So again, we've got like this little edging. See what I mean? I think that must be in this year to edge your, your bits and bobs with a little bit of crochet. Obviously, that's very fine work. Transform a collared shirt into one in one evening by adding this delicate lace trim designed by Sarah... Huntington. Now, I'm not sure if that's Sarah or Sarah, but I always think if it's got an H, it's Sarah. If it doesn't, it's Sarah. Could be wrong, because everybody that I went to school with that's called Sarah back in the day didn't have an H, and they were Sarah. So, you know, whatever. Don't know. Now, this is pretty. I like this. Although it's kind of gloomy colours, I like the look of it. It's colour-changing yarn, which seems... It can't be really, can it? It's too even. It can't be, surely not. It says it's Rowan felted tweed, but it's just too even. They must have just changed the colour themselves. That's just too, too, too even. I don't get that. Anyway, hat and cowl set. Very nice by Hannah Cross. It was a cow. Um, that's an advert for sewing. If you want to subscribe to the every day, wear me every day. Oh, sewing, simply sewing. Sorry, I was reading the white bit, not the black bit. That's how you do it. Okay, so this is that cushions. That they're actually bobbles. Now I look at that up close, you can see. And this is the the throw that I liked, but it probably is a little bit of cabling. It's quite nice, I have to say. But this is the cushion, so you have to do two and then they face each other. And there's little how-to-do bits as well. And this is the very, very, very tedious sewing involved. Um, it's called Square Smile. And it's by... Haven't got a clue, they don't say. Um, no. Oh, Pat Strong. There we go. Pat Strong, I did see... So, yeah, it's nice, it's okay and everything, but it will drive you absolutely bandy. Plus, you've got to know how to put a zip in if you want to make that. Unless you just left it open or put buttons. But would you think that's too many squares? 
Okay, not bad at all. What's that all about? We catch up with Seattle's Britt Garber, founder of the Makeups of Colour Collective and the designer behind Not Bad Brit to learn about her creative crochet journey. Why would she be called creative uh, Not Bad Brit? Oh, because her name's Brit Garber. I'm thinking Brit. She's not British. Duh. Honestly. So, The Knitter, three issues for £6 when you subscribe today. Now, I got that free a couple of times in magazines. I'm going to have to check my um, food in a minute that's bubbling away on the stove. But if you fancy taking that up, it's quite a good one. Um, that's the code and where you've got to do it from. So, that might be cool. Um, and as long as they don't make you carry on afterwards with, um, obviously... So it will cost more. Um, this is the dragon, Dragon's Den. Extra large make. So it's, I don't know how big he is. Because they're toy shoes. But if they're toy dress-up shoes, it shows it's quite a big toy. Um, by Carol Hladik. That's quite nice, isn't he? Of course, you could make it in different colours if you wanted to. It wouldn't have to be pink. Animal throws. I'm going to pause it for a second. I'll be right back. I've just got to check my I'm back and I've made sure it's moving <laughs> a few times I've in the past paused things and then come back and it's not been recording but it definitely is this time so we challenged two designers to come up with a fab design each using the same yarn which is your favorite so Sylvia Tuscarova made this pussycat kind of round throw is it a throw or a rug and Katie Mitchell made this one but are they? Yes, they are. They are in here. That's cool. So I'm still at a loss as to figure out whether they are squares that are joined. It does look like it. Cat blank. Yes, yeah, squares. You make 35 of them. So I think you make the squares and then you sew on the motifs. But yeah, they're not within the square, obviously. So you've got to sew the motifs on the squares. And you've got to join it in such a way to make these diagonal kind of crisscrosses okay and this is the oh it's an owl i thought that was a cat see it's an owl now i'm really really bad at these amigurumi things or you know identifying <laughs> i'm just so bad at it oh dear oh well that's them anyway <laughs> spring forward enjoy the last of winter with these adorable mitts by emma leith now, I do like them. They're not bad. I've made similar things myself in the past. Got quite a few um, fingerless gloves on my channel, but they are a stitch that I invented myself called the Crochet Rock Stitch. But I have done some like this, and I like texture blankets that are like that, you know. Although I don't really have one on my channel. That's interesting. The one on the palm is all the same colour. That's kind of cool. Not bad at all. Mirror Image. Who better to present me than me? Three black crochet doll makers speak to us about the importance and impact of creating diverse and inclusive dolls. OK, that's a bit of a big read, so we won't go into that one. Dolly Mixture. Give your decor a sugar rush with Kelly Wilson Moore's throw. So this is um, easy to make, apparently. So good for a beginner. And that's all the details on how to do it. It must be easy because that's all there is. And um, if it was hard, there'd be loads. This is Peak Performance. Combine two crafts. Celebrate National Embroidery Month by adding a little something extra to Anna Nikopirowicz's handbag. I hope I pronounced her name right. But we've actually got this one lined and I still haven't lined my bags, guys got my sewing machine in my yarn van and everything set up in there and have I done the lining of the bags yet thought about that the other day still haven't done it now this is the scarf I really like this this is um it's a, t a new technique okay we're gonna well it might not be new but it says try a new technique if you follow the rainbow you'll find this soft scarf by Kelly Wilson Moore at its end so what is said new technique then um, 
how to add fringe in. Is that it? Is that the new technique? Maybe it is. Is that new? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, there we go. We'll move swiftly on then. Castle View Yarns. Meet an indie dyer and indulge in a design with their skeins. So that does look nice, doesn't it? I'm looking, well, not actively, um, pro productively looking, but I would like an indie dyer. I would like to sell their yarns in my shop, um, hobbybox.co.uk. So if you know of anyone that dyes yarn and it's good stuff that keeps its colour and all of that stuff, and they might want to stock some in my shop, then let me know in the comments section. Only if they're the sort of person that does want to do that, though, obviously. Pride of Placemat. These are the placemats. Now, they say there was something like 35 of them in the front, didn't it? Was it 35? It might have been more. Where is it? I've lost them. <laughs> Lost them, I have lost them. Maybe it was in the beginning. Da -da. Well, oh, no, it was 73. 73? That's even more, isn't it? Well, this is Castle View Yarn Sock in Blueberry Pie. So they've used that yarn. Um, Create a coordinated look for your table with this matching set of placemats and coasters by Becca Parker. So, um, yeah, why does it say 73? Because you've got, I don't know, that's bizarre. Baby yarns, we're looking at baby yarns. We've got, um, oh, it's showing you how to make the teddy bear motif as well. So this is paint box chenille. Not used that, but it looks scarily similar to the James C. Brett Flutterby, which I have used, and it is absolutely the most soft yarn. If you've used chenille yarn, you can just you haven't you haven't lived until you've tried the James C. Brett Flutterby. You could just f I just f have this. Okay, I'm going to tell you this now. I'm not weird, but I have this um this thought of just having like a massive massive vat filled with Flutterby and just diving in and just being all soft and willowy okay yeah i didn't i'm not i'm not, I'm not weird on this anyway <clears throat> that's this one um that one is world of wool Wallaby. this one is bow peep west yorkshire spinners never been keen on that one i don't find it a little bit scratchy rico baby cotton soft and this one is Viking Garn Merino, gone. And Signet Pure Baby, which I am a big fan of Signet. They're um, an up and coming, I think. Um, previously, like real cheap and cheerful yarn, but they are really coming along. Okay, so show us yours. We've got lots of people sending in their makes. And on a couple of pages, where to keep your hooks when you're not crocheting. What? 42% in my hook case. 33% stuff in my latest project. 17% who knows. 8% left on the side. <laughs> yeah. May it's heaven knows. I don't have a clue. Okie doke. So that's that page anyway. Now we've got how can I fix gaps after turning chains? Don't do too many turning chains is one of them. Um, I often see on some tutorials when I give them a little watch that they'll, when it's a treble or a UK treble US double crochet, and they'll say three chain. And I think why? It just makes a gap. You only need two, you know. So don't do too many in the first place is one thing and make sure that if you're doing a, a small stitch you go in the first stitch which is the one where your chain comes out of and if it's a treble or a us double you're going in the next one and you're not doing three then you won't get a gap okay radio and then there's this little thing how do i work standing stitches a fab turning chain alternative for stripes 
So that's kind of interesting, more than the usual, um, you know, abbreviations and stuff. The back orders where you can get those if you've missed one and you want it. I'll hold it there, but I think it's quite simple. And in the next issue, we've got very colourful bits and bobs. Embroidered crochet collection, tank top and scarf, which is this one. Ami Gurumi ducklings, that's not that. <laughs> Houndstooth clutch and cowl. Postage stamp blanket. Loose fit granny square cardi. Oval motif bag textured puffy and more puffet plus rain and shine stitch markers they're pretty cute they'll find their way into packages because i usually do put them in when i send things off i usually do so then we've got the other uh, so they still have the holding the hook and all the abbreviations and the how to do bits and charts and diagrams uh, which is just honeycomb that must be that cat blanket. No, maybe not. I don't know. It wasn't hexagons, was it? Anywho, um, that's just really all she wrote. So that's that one. Let's have a look at when we've got these, obviously, as our little gift. But we've also got this. Edits. So again, we've got some little kind of, I wouldn't say motifs, because it looks kind of like it's all done in one big long line. But it's got the same kind of vibe, isn't it, as lots of little motifs. So, um, make gorgeous garments using simple geometry. Circle vest. Now, I've often seen those and thought, I'm not sure about them. I'm really not kind of sure whether I like them or not. A square jumper and a rectangle poncho. But that's just done as a big long strip like that. Rather than wrapped around you know what I mean the square jumper does look quite nice actually better than I thought it would so let's have a look this one's called the right angle with alternating multicolor stripes that look almost like an optical illusion this breathtaking poncho by Emma Leith is actually made from two large rectangles well, we, knew, we knew that box of sweets this is called if you've soft spot for pastel shades and a large granny squares, this is the jumper for you. Fran Morgan's confection coloured creation is a treat to make and wear. It's just very simple. Is it a pattern? I don't think so. You make square, square, sleeve, sleeve. You know, uh, I was talking to, I won't name her, but I was talking to somebody about magazines and... Um, she messaged me and said that she's noticed in these books and these magazines, whenever they're hard up for anything, they just rehash a lot of square stuff. And <laughs> she may be right. She may be onto something. Create a cardigan using a simple hexagons. Using simple hexagons. Uh, with Fran Morgan's clever strategy. If you look closer, you'll see the diagonal seams where the hexagons attach to each other. Can you? Oh, yeah. Maybe you can. So let's see. How do you touch them then? Because we all know that there's hexagon cardigans out there. But Fran Morgan didn't invent that. But I can't see that these are hexagons. Really? Can you? Mm, there's now we're reinventing the wheel again. I'm speaking of wheel. <laughs> There's a round one around the way. Now, I have seen these, like I said, and um, I, do, I just, it's this, it's this bit. That's the kind of, and it flays it. I'm not sure, but that's one of them anyway. So, yeah, in here we've got something that's been made before a zillion times, something that's been made before a zillion times, something that's been made before a zillion times, and something that's been made before a zillion times. So, yeah. And they created it and they've got a credit for it when there are millions of them around. So, um, yeah, don't see that one myself. Edits. <coughs> Magazine. Uh, there's a few things in there that's quite interesting. But um, I don't think there's anything I'd make, to be honest, personally. There's a... 
the one thing I really do like is the scarf. They're very plain. And um, <laughs> apart from having a, a little tutorial on a bit of fl fringing, I think it's going to tax me if I did it. Oh, and these. So tell me, what do you think of the latest Simply Crochet? Do you know what? When I first started doing these open with me's, well, I've been doing them a long time now. It used to be that this was the favourite. Everybody liked this. And Inside Crochet was the least favourite of everybody. And um, Crochet Now was okay, but they people's consensus was it it was it did too much for Bella Coco and there wasn't and what she did was very small and there wasn't anything in it of any consequence of hers and they just kind of you know use each other's names so that was kind of the consensus that we had at the time I mean obviously there are other magazines I do but this one was the biggest favorite of them all and I've got to say that pattern wise this one's really falling down lately. Um, I've, for the last three or four of them, I've not thought it was up to its usual or previous standard. And the inside crochet, which used to be the least favourite of everyone, it seems to be pulling itself up. And uh, crochet now as well, um, sometimes has some really decent stuff in it. So uh, it's interesting, isn't it? What do you think? Let me know in the description. No, not the description box. The comment section, as well as any indie yarn dyers as well. I also mentioned that earlier. So yeah, thanks for watching. Stay safe, everyone. Take care. And I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.